Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Today we're doing Flatline, only we're doing the Silent Assassin run. I'm pretty proud of this run, I worked really hard on it, getting everything perfect. Played this, this level so many damn times, I've been having dreams about it. Uh, think as always, skipping the cutscenes. It's good to have you back, 47. I'm glad... And, uh... You see that albino in here the other day? I thought he was a client. Uh, sorry about that. I was distracted by something. Um, right, we're using standard equipment. Um, let's head on up here. In slow motion, because for whatever reason my PC has decided it doesn't feel like running at the normal speed. Um, seems to happen more often in the outside areas, but, well, it kind of slows down whenever it feels like. I promise it'll get better as soon as we talk to Agent Smith. So anyway, I took that paper from that guy, and we will be using it later, but for now, we're going to sneak in a different way. Now, I think the easiest way to sneak in is to take that guy's paper. Um, doing it stealthily is not easy. I had to try many, many times to see how I could sneak in here without being spotted. And right now we're going to kill Mr. Pink Robe first. We're going to plant our bomb there. Now we're going to take out our detonator. And there he is, cheating. He's not trying to get better. He's not trying his best. And for that, he deserves to die. So that's one guy out. Now we're going to sabotage the gas by twisting a knob or something. I mean, who who cooks pasta sauce with a whole can of car uh I don't know, whatever gas that was? It seems kind of overkill. It's probably not even allowed. It's probably against the rules. He probably just gets it because he's like some kind of gangster and they're afraid if they don't give it to him that they'll be killed or something like that. So, this guy right here, before I would zap him with one of the stun guns that was in that box on the left there, but... What I realized was that when I finished the level, I'd actually have points deducted because this guy would wake up before I'd finished the level. Um, and that would count as a found body because, you know, he realized he was attacked or something. But we don't have to worry about him anymore, and we don't even have to bother stealing the videotape because I'll be making sure to, to stay out of that video camera's view. So here we are in the uh, the holding cells or whatever you want to call it, and we gotta wait for this guy to come in and drink his crappy coffee and then leave, so we can take his friend's outfit. You know, I I did try uh, an alternate way to get through this level. I tried to just sneak the whole way through, but it didn't quite work. Um, this guy here in the chair will see you. If you if you go out into the holding cell area, I tried climbing across across this ledge uh, that I'll show off a little later. Um, but uh, he sees you no matter what. I don't understand what the point is of that ledge. It seems pretty much useless to me. Um, yeah, and he's going, and we're gonna come on in. Can't use the door because it's locked. You know, every damn door in this in this area is locked. It's pretty obnoxious. If you get to pick up that cell key, you'll find yourself uh, not able to get anywhere. So let's make sure he steps outside because there's nothing more annoying than you know trying to take someone out and then they uh, and then someone else turns around and then your whole cover's blown. And you have to do the whole damn thing over again. And that sound was the sound of our second target being blown to smithereens and uh well that pasta sauce probably has a lot of blood in it now i suppose and now with that guy out of the way we have nothing to worry about we're just gonna head downstairs and check out our informant here there he is I'm gonna close this door. You. I now, should have known. 
The thing about this cutscene is that you can't skip it. Psychotropics. And that makes speed running this level really obnoxious. Uh, you, I mean, you really just want to hit exit or enter or whatever and skip it, but you can't. And at first I thought that was a design oversight, but now I think it's because when these cutscenes occur in Hitman Blood Money, uh, everything is still happening around you. People are still moving around. Uh, they can be alerted, and if I use this while one of the orderlies are watching, like that guy, uh, obviously, uh, that would not be good for us. Identity and obtained. I think that's why they Executing don't let us skip these assignment. particular cutscenes. Splendid 47. It might interest you to know the following. A sudden shift in the delicate power balance of the New York family. Yeah, families. so... As you can see, her dialogue doesn't change if you've already started killing the targets. Um, it's one of the things I don't particularly like about this stage. Um, it really doesn't make any sense at all. There's, there's no way Agent 47 should know who the people are. Uh, I kind of wish they'd make them appear after you talk to Agent Smith, uh, rather than always being there, but... Oh, stop complaining. The coffee's just fine. Jesus, that guy, all he does all day is bitch and moan. And you know what? He, go, he goes and does something, and then he disappears for 40 minutes. And then he wants to go on break. Douchebag. Anyway, let's use the door this time. You know, climbing through windows kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to climb a lot as a kid until I fell about five feet directly onto my head. That... Uh, didn't feel too good. Got a concussion from that. And that guy is heading uh, to the exit and will be there pretty soon. Hey, that's some of our handiwork right there. And let's put this down here. Let's get changed. I'm going to check to make sure I don't have any weapons because that wouldn't be good if that guard found the weapons on me. You know, before I was killing all three targets, uh, before I talked to Agent Smith, but I realized that, uh, excuse me lady, can you shut up please? Thanks. Okay. I realized that that meant that I would have to stand around for about three or four minutes waiting for Agent Smith to be brought to the morgue, and it was really boring, and I didn't feel like cutting out a big chunk of the video, so... I figured it'd be better if I killed two guys and then took care of the rat last guy. And where the devil is this guy, anyway? Uh, oh, okay, he stepped in. So, our, our friend here, the only guy who's actually not cheating, you know, he's not sneaking a drink. He's not going to the kitchen, drinking, uh, drinking there. He's not drinking the globe. He's, he's trying his best to get sober. And he's gonna have an accident, you know? He, Hey buddy, how about I how about I spot you? How about I help you out? You know, get get on get back on the right path and get clean and they they even modeled him breathing out when he when he works out. That's pretty cool. You know, it, it kind of makes you. <laughs> it's kind of funny because the faces are so fucked up. Uh, they don't look good. Um, I mean, it's a 2006 game, but still, they look they all look the same. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous to work out without a spotter. Oh, well, I've never really done any bench pressing myself. I don't particularly care for that exercise. Anyway, let's get dressed. Now, I know they make a big deal about not letting people out until they're sober, but they don't seem to care, and to be honest, I feel pretty damn good. So let's... There he is. Agent Smith, he's waiting for us. Let's jump over this, this wall here. And, uh, oh, some more of our handiwork. Poor guy, he's gotta drag that body all the way down here. Huh. Well, okay, we wanna stay away from this orderly here, this guy in the white, because if he sees us, he gets suspicious and turns around, and then we have to wait for him to leave the morgue again. And that's boring. We don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that to you guys. I love you guys. Let's close the door, get some privacy. And, uh... Hold on a second. Uh, maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Ah, never mind. Alright, let's get out of here. Like I said, you don't have to wait for Agent Smith to wake up. You can just go to the exit. So, let's take a look. Three accidents and nothing else. And, 
duh. Uh, yep, Silent Assassin, 9 minutes and 5 seconds. And we're officially multi-millionaires, $2 million. Yeah, we made some extra money by killing three targets. That's half a million dollars, pretty good work. And of course, no notoriety, because <laughs> no one even knows we were there. Let's take a look at the newspaper. You know, even though this douchebag here, he died of a uh, hmm, multiple abuser block, etc. A huge blank space there. Someone's gonna get fired for that. That's terrible design. Uh, they, they're still looking for a killer, even though he just dropped the weight on his own throat. You know, he should have gotten a spotter. That's what happens. You gotta be safe in the gym. Or just not do bench presses. I mean, bench press is kind of a lame exercise. You know, well, that's it. That's the end of this level. I'm Nick Meister. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it's been a pleasure. See you next time.